Have you ever wanted to learn to cook but just didn't know where to start? Well, we're the guys from Sorted Food and we've teamed up with Co-op to create Now Cook It. A free online course to show you how to up your food game. So head over to Now Cook It to get started. But for now, check out this video from the course. Nutty chicken noodles. It's quick, it's delicious, it serves one. Yep, and we're going to show you a very simple sauce that you can throw together with most of the ingredients from your store cupboard. Perfect. However, we're going to start with the chicken. We're going to poach a chicken breast. Now, this is the best way to cook chicken breast if you want to keep it really succulent. It doesn't take much longer, but it's much, much better. So grab yourself a pan about medium size, put just over a pint of water in there. And what we're going to do is dissolve in a chicken stock cube. Add it in, whisk it up, and you want to heat it to a simmer, so just below boiling, at which point you can lower in the chicken breast and you want to poach it for about 15 minutes. If you want to speed this whole process up, you can cut the chicken breast in half and it will halve the cooking time, but it's better if you give it the 15 minutes. Yep. Now, when we're poaching anything, it's good to keep a lid off so you can keep an eye on it. You don't want that mixture to bubble. If it bubbles, the chicken actually becomes quite tough and dries out. A very, very gentle poach, 15 minutes, gives us enough time to make the sauce and get the veg ready. The sauce, a bunch of ingredients in a bowl mixed up. They are crunchy peanut butter, the juice of a lime, a teaspoon of sesame oil, soy sauce, and then grate in fresh ginger and fresh garlic. Mix it all together with a couple of tablespoons of that chicken stock and it's good to go. And there you go, that's the stir fry sauce and that's why we use crunchy peanut butter, you want that texture. Not essential, you could use smooth, but the crunch is good. Right, let's move on to our veg. We have a red pepper, an onion and a carrot. How have you done oh, a carrot? Oh my goodness. Which one do you want to chop? Uh, I want the red pepper. Okay. I'll do these two. Here's how to chop up a red pepper. Chop off the top and the bottom of your pepper, then stand it up. Then cut down one of the sides, put it back on its side, then chop around the core so you can take out the entire middle with the seeds. Lay the remainder flat and cut into thin strips. You want to find a small white onion or a shallot, top and tail it, then cut it in half. Peel it and take each half and cut into fine strips. And in actual fact, cooking for one, half of this onion is enough. So this half, if you wrap it in cling film, that'll be fine for tomorrow's dinner. And as for the carrot, we're going to peel it and then keep peeling so you get ribbons. Use those ribbons to cut very, very fine matchstick pieces. These should be really small because you don't want them too crunchy after you stir fry them for just a minute or two. With all the veg chopped, we can start to stir fry. So you want some vegetable oil, about a tablespoon in a wok, and the wok should be really hot. If you haven't got a wok, you can always use a large frying pan, but you need something with plenty of space to move stuff around. And it should be pretty much at smoking point. So as the oil goes in, that's how hot you want it, then in with the veg. Onions, carrots and peppers all going in at the same time. Definitely the sound you want for stir fry, because you want a really high heat and you want to keep it moving in the pan. If you can't use the tossing action, just get in with a fish slice and just keep it moving. The hot parts of a wok are around the outside, so spread the veg out. We're serving this with noodles, very, very simple, rice noodles, so all they need to do is go into a bowl and be covered with boiling water out of the kettle and just leave them submerged for three or four minutes. That's enough to cook them. Alternatively, you can actually buy the ready-to-wok rice noodles or you could use egg noodles, in which case you'll need to boil them in a pan for maybe four or five minutes. It's entirely up to you what veg you go for, but the great thing about cutting the onion and the pepper and the carrot to these small sizes, they all cook at the same time. But you could equally throw in some bean sprouts or some tennis stem broccoli or different colour peppers, mix it up and make it your own. Now at this last step, it will feel like there's a lot going on at once, but you've got control. Basically, you've had the time while the chicken's been poaching to get your sauce ready, to get your veg chopped up, and the cooking process is very, very quick. So at this point, we can take the chicken out of the water, it's perfectly poached, and just leave it on a chopping board or a plate to cool down enough so that we can pull it apart in just a second. Our veg is cooked to the point we want. If you ever want to check, you can always just grab a little bit of pepper and try it. You don't want it to be mushy, it should have a slight crunch, yep. but it's not raw. And then in with all of our sauce. That's the peanut butter, the lime, the soy, ginger and garlic. Oh, you can really smell that as well. Because of the peanut butter, it has a tendency to stick to the pan a little bit. Not a problem. That's kind of what you're looking for. Then our rice noodles, we can drain. They really don't take any time at all. 
and the straight to wok ones, although these are hot, obviously those will be cold, so they'll need an extra minute or so in the pan. Just toss it all together. And the final flavouring in here is a generous pinch of black pepper. Really quite generous, because you want that pepperness. Because our noodles are already hot, that's literally all they need, a good mixing. If they're straight to wok noodles, give them a full minute and then plate it up into your serving bowl, like that. Delicious. That was so quick. Take your wok off the heat, get it straight into some cold water to wash it. And this is why you poach chicken, because it is just so tender and succulent. A little bit goes a long way. One breast is probably enough for two people if you strip it up this way. Likewise, cooking for one. No one's going to know when you eat the whole thing. It's good. It's good for you, it's lean. So look at that, a mountain of chicken, and that's only half the chicken breast. If you've got a pan of poaching liquid, you might as well poach off a couple of chicken breasts. You can always use the others in a sandwich or a salad the following day. And we're going to finish off our dish with some chopped coriander, some chopped chilli and some sesame seeds. You can add a squeeze of lime juice if you want as well. It's up to you. There we go. A very simple solo stir fry of nutty chicken noodles. This is my kind of dish. I know there's two of us making this, but it is very simple to do in 15, 20 minutes on your own, one step at a time, it's so good. Well, I'm gonna go big. Oh, that is so, oh, that is so good. And with the exception of the chicken breast, all the ingredients there have got a pretty long shelf life, so you can buy it at the weekend and cook it pretty much any day of the week. We would recommend you cook this certainly one of the days of the week, and if you'd like to do that, you can find the full recipe down below. What do you think of the poached chicken? Mmm.